Hi everybody, so we're working on our Pelton wind turbine with this kind of weird shape where I'm saying that it creates a jet to create extra lift. Who really knows you're going to do a smoke test? But we already know that if we hold it that way, it spins beautifully. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Ever heard of any hero engine? What about if we did it that way and pointed it into the wind? Look at that! So it seemed to me that it went so much faster when it was in that direction pointed into the wind than when it was in that direction. Now when it's like that of course it's going to pick up the wind from wherever it comes. When it's like that you have to point it in the direction of the wind to get the best out of it. And I think that's because of the Hero Engine. Well I think it works the same way as the Hero Engine. The Hero Engine works because you build up pressure of steam, it can only jet in one direction and the engine spins. And when we think about this tadpole shape the wind's coming in here. It must go somewhere. I think it's been deflected around the tadpole and acting like a jet over this airfoil, which is making it spin like crazy. Now that's really interesting, but of course we do need to direct the wind into it, and it'd be kind of cool if it was that way around, and we could force the wind down that way. Now, of course, we have been working with the Darwin wind turbine. The Darwin isn't a wind turbine in itself. The Darwin is actually a wind collector. What it does is collect the wind from every direction, force it in one direction straight down, and we were going to use this with it. This is the waters turbine. That forces the wind across there, makes it go through there, and we get it to rotate. And I was quite happy with that for a long while until I started thinking about this, because I think this will be much more efficient jetting the air over the airfoil rather than flowing the air over the airfoil. So I think that's a better option. It's certainly an option I'm going to test with the wind collector because that seems to work really, really well. Now, we have still work to do on this, obviously, but that is an exciting result for the Darwin wind turbine to build that in there and make that part of what it is that we're doing. People may wonder why it takes me so long to do these things. Well, I do get obsessed about stuff. And of course, part of a turbine is the wind collection. Part is the bit that captures the wind and part is the bit that turns the wind into electrical power. And then of course, in between those are gears. And we're working on all of those if you think about the videos that I do. But it looks to me like this Pelton wheel design combined with the Darwin wind collector is going to be a super winner. Still need to look at this actual shape, and I do know people are working on it because I get emails about it, which is really cool. But that I thought as a sort of quick and dirty test on the top of a hill where I live was quite astonishing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.